Did you know that beneath the picturesque landscapes of our world, the threat of supervolcanoes lurks, with the potential to change life as we know it? Yes, supervolcanoes, the sleeping giants of our planet, nestled beneath the Earth's surface, silently holding the power to reshape continents and reconfigure climates. These colossal cauldrons of molten fury aren't confined to a single corner of the globe. Rather they are scattered across the world, their locations as diverse as their potential for destruction. From the idyllic Yellowstone National Park in the United States to the sprawling volcanic complex of Toba in Indonesia, and the scenic beauty of the Long Valley in California, these ticking time bombs lie in wait, but their presence isn't limited to land alone. The seabed too harbors these lurking leviathans. Take the Lagarita Caldera submerged under the Pacific Ocean for instance. Its eruption, millions of years ago, is considered one of the largest volcanic events in Earth's history. The unsettling part of this narrative though, is the sheer unpredictability of these volcanoes. Their eruptions don't adhere to a set schedule. They could remain dormant for thousands, even millions of years, only to suddenly awaken and unleash their pent-up wrath. And when they do, the aftermath is nothing short of cataclysmic. A single supervolcano eruption can spew out over 1,000 cubic kilometers of ash and rock, enough to blanket an entire continent. The skies would darken, temperatures would plunge, and a volcanic winter could ensue, lasting for years, even decades. But what if this wasn't a one-off event? What if in a twist of fate, all these sleeping giants decided to awaken simultaneously? What if every supervolcano across the globe erupted at once? Well that's a scenario straight out of a dystopian novel, a situation that would redefine the meaning of a global catastrophe. So, what would happen if all these sleeping giants awakened at once? The answer to that question my friends is a journey we're about to embark on. So buckle up and brace yourselves as we delve into the world of supervolcanoes and their potentially earth-shattering impacts. Picture this. One day, seemingly like any other, the sky turns an ominous black as ash and smoke blot out the sun. Suddenly, day turns into night as a thick, choking cloud of volcanic dust and debris fills the atmosphere. The world as we know it is plunged into an unexpected darkness, a darkness that does not lift with the dawn. The immediate aftermath of supervolcano eruptions is nothing short of apocalyptic. Imagine the brightest cities, those that never sleep, swallowed whole by this pervasive darkness. The skyscrapers that once kissed the clouds now disappear into a murky abyss, their lights muted by the dense ash-filled air. The usual hum of city life is replaced by an eerie silence punctuated only by the distant rumble of the erupting volcanoes. With the sun blotted out, temperatures drop dramatically. A volcanic winter sets in, plant life struggles to survive without sunlight, and the ripple effect on the food chain is both immediate and catastrophic. From the smallest insects to the largest predators, every life form feels the sting of this sudden change in environment. And what of human life? The grounding of flights is an immediate and necessary response. The ash cloud presents a severe threat to aviation. Volcanic ash made of tiny glass-like particles can wreak havoc on aircraft engines, leading to potential engine failure. Airports worldwide become ghost towns, their runways blanketed in ash. Our global society so accustomed to the rapid movement of people and goods, grinds to a halt. The interconnected world becomes fragmented as nations turn inward, focusing on survival in this new, harsh reality. Yet the darkness and the grounded plains are just the tip of the iceberg. The ash and smoke that fill the sky are not just blocking out the sun, they're altering the very air we breathe, introducing a new, deadly element into the mix. And that's just the first wave of effects, let's delve deeper into a post-eruption world. With the world still shrouded in darkness millions would find their homes destroyed, buried under layers of ash and volcanic debris. This chilling aftermath of a supervolcano eruption would be a stark reality for many, cities once brimming with life, now reduced to eerie wastelands. Infrastructure, the backbone of society, would crumble and decay under the relentless reign of ash. The displacement of people would be on an unprecedented scale. Millions of individuals, families, entire communities would be forced to abandon the remnants of their homes. They would find themselves thrust into an uncertain world, grappling with the harsh reality of becoming refugees in their own lands. This sudden and massive displacement would undoubtedly trigger a humanitarian crisis of colossal proportions. Food, water, shelter, the basic necessities of life would become scarce commodities. The ash-choked land would be practically infertile, 
making growing food near impossible. The water sources would be contaminated with volcanic ash, posing a serious threat to the health of those who dare drink from them. In the wake of this devastation, shelters would be overwhelmed, unable to accommodate the vast number of homeless. Families would huddle together, seeking solace and warmth in the biting cold of the volcanic winter. The once vibrant cities, now ghost towns, would echo with the hollow sounds of despair and hopelessness. The world would witness a stark contrast to the society we know today, a society where the comforts of modern life have been replaced by the struggle for survival. The resilience of humanity would be tested like never before. Every day would be a battle against the elements, against hunger, against despair. But amidst this bleak reality, the indomitable spirit of humanity would shine through. Communities would come together, pooling resources, sharing food and shelter, the will to survive would drive innovation, leading to ingenious solutions to the challenges posed by this new world order. But the threat is not over yet, there's a silent killer still lurking in the air. Breathable air, something we take for granted, would become a luxury in the aftermath of the supervolcano eruptions. Picture this, the skies above, once clear and blue, now thick with a choking haze of ash and smoke. This isn't some dystopian fiction. This is the new reality we're forced to face if all the supervolcanoes were to explode tomorrow. The high concentration of sulfur dioxide and other harmful gases in the air would be a constant threat to our survival. Sulfur dioxide, when combined with water, forms sulfuric acid, a main component of acid rain. This acid rain would not only be devastating to our environment, but also to our health, causing respiratory issues and potentially lethal conditions. Finding breathable air would become a challenge akin to finding a needle in a haystack. It's not just about stepping outside with a mask on. The fallout from the eruptions would be so pervasive that even indoor air quality would be compromised. The fine volcanic ash particles, small enough to infiltrate the most secure of homes, would become a silent invader, threatening our lungs with every breath. But it's not just our lungs at risk. The high levels of carbon dioxide, a gas heavier than air, would settle in low-lying areas displacing oxygen. This invisible threat could lead to asphyxiation for those unaware of its presence. This new normal would force us to adapt in ways we've never imagined. We'd have to rethink how we live, how we breathe. Air purifiers and respirators would become essential tools for survival. We'd need to develop new technologies to cleanse our atmosphere and fast. This would be a test of human ingenuity and resilience, a challenge like no other. The aftermath of a supervolcano eruption would be a world where every breath is a struggle, where the air we breathe is a constant reminder of the catastrophe that has befallen us. And yet, life must go on. We'd have to find a way to survive, to adapt, to thrive in the face of adversity. And if you think the land is the only domain affected, think again. The sea, usually a refuge in times of disaster, could turn deadly with the threat of tsunamis. At this point we've discussed the lands darkening, homes vanishing, and the struggle for breathable air. Now let's turn our attention to the seas. Picture the ocean, typically a symbol of tranquility and freedom. Yet with the eruption of undersea supervolcanoes it becomes a breeding ground for monstrous waves known as tsunamis. These aren't your everyday waves, tsunamis are beastly walls of water capable of reaching heights of over a hundred feet. These waves are silent, swift, and deadly. They can travel across the ocean at jet-like speed, giving little warning before they strike the land. As they approach the shore they rise in height becoming a terrifying wall of water that engulfs everything in its path. Coastal cities often bustling with life and activity could find themselves at the mercy of these aquatic juggernauts. Iconic beachfronts and seaside communities could be wiped off the map in an instant. The devastation doesn't stop at the shoreline either. Tsunamis can surge miles inland, swallowing up towns, cities, and farmland. Let's not forget the fallout from undersea landslides, another potential outcome of supervolcano eruptions. These landslides can trigger tsunamis too, adding another layer of danger to an already catastrophic situation. The aftermath of a tsunami is a scene of utter destruction. Buildings are leveled, roads are washed away, and countless lives are lost. Survivors face a daunting task rebuilding their lives amidst the ruins of their homes and communities. So, what can we do in the face of such a threat? The answer lies in preparedness and resilience. Developing effective early warning systems, implementing evacuation plans, and building structures that can withstand tsunamis are all crucial steps. But perhaps the most vital element is our own personal resilience. The ability to adapt, to endure, and to rise from the ashes is the defining trait of humanity. In the face of such a catastrophe, 
our resilience and preparedness are put to the ultimate test.